What is going on everybody? So I was watching the Philly tournament here on Compton 187's YouTube channel and we're watching this matchup between Franchise and Fitzmagic and I saw something pretty cool from Franchise on offense out of this gun bunch from the West Coast playbook and I just kind of wanted to talk about it. So if you guys don't know who Franchise is, I'm sure most of you probably do, but if you don't, it's a competitive player. He made the top 32 last year uh, for in the Madden uh, Championship Series points, I believe, and he was in that final tournament that EA put on. Uh, he was at some other live events as well. I think he was in the club series. I think that's the first time I ever saw him. And I think he was just straight up screaming in some guy's face. And that was the first time I saw him. And I was like, this dude is straight up insane. <laughs> but he's actually... Uh, I, I've listened to his interviews. He seems like a pretty cool guy. I'm sure he's he's super cool. It's probably just kind of how he is when he gets in game. But obviously, he's a good player. He's been around for a while. So, uh, And I wanted to talk about what he was doing out of this gun bunch so uh, if you guys obviously probably know uh, this year Z spot got nerfed into the ground whenever they took out the backside deep post and replaced it with that little curl route or whatever that's in it now so basically nobody runs Z spot everybody if you watch guys like skimbo joke uh, they definitely migrated on to corner strike and PA post which were you know popular plays last year but uh, that's mainly the plays you see at a gun bunch now are, are those two plays along with some other mix-ups. It used to be kind of those two plays and Z-Spot, but obviously Z-Spot fell out. But, however, out of Gun Bunch in the West Coast playbook only, as far as I know, uh, there is a play called Dig Halfback Out. And it has that deep post from Z-Spot last year on that solo receiver on the far left out of this Gun Bunch. So, in this case, right here uh, with Stefan Diggs, uh, what you're going to see is, I believe that is Stephon Diggs. Yeah, Stephon Diggs. So uh, I like that franchise put Diggs out there, first of all. Diggs has that over 91 route running, so he's going to run this route really quickly. He's going to get across the field very quickly, which is what you want. But he runs that deep post all the way across the field. And then basically, I think most of the other routes, if not all the other routes, are kind of like stock hot routes. I think there might be like a streak, an out route, and a curl or something. But uh, what franchise does, so there's not really any other routes of note. That's what was nice about Z-Spot is you had that corner route on the right side. So you had not only the deep post on the left, but you had a corner route on the right side, which you can't get from standard hot routes, obviously. And you could make that, you know, flat route, corner route concept on the right and then have the backside post. But I digress. So what you're going to see Franchise do here is he's blocking seven. And basically he streaks his point man here and he puts this guy on a curl. So all he wants to do is that point man, he wants him to just clear out deep and pull the zone defenders, the deep defenders, as far downfield as he can and leave that Z-spot post from the backside, Stephon Diggs, come in underneath it so he can deliver it basically uh, in this area on the sideline. And what he does with that curl route, the reason he does that is it gives him an easy playmaker option over the middle of the field. I know a lot of you guys see a lot of players out of these compressed sets like to put guys on like hitches and stuff. Um, a popular, say for example like a um, bunch trail setup that you'll see a lot out of regular gun bunch is you'll have this post route backside and then what a lot of people do you have this corner route and then you have a little hitch route right here and a lot of people will playmaker that hitch route you have the ability to you know go to the outside or go to the inside so uh, whichever one looks open he can be kind of tough to defend so a lot of people like playmaking those hitch routes and curl routes and it's mainly because it gives you that option to go either left or right from a standstill so it's pretty tough to defend and it seems like those horizontal playmakers are the quickest cutting and the hardest to defend. Whenever you start playmaking vertically, they don't always take the right angle. Sometimes they slow down and stuff, and it can be kind of wonky. So the left and right horizontal playmakers seem to be the most consistent. And so players tend to like that better from what I've seen. So that's kind of what you're going to see here. And uh, what you're going to see from Fitzmagic on defense, four-man pass rush. It's basically a cover two shell, and it looks like he drops one of his linebackers into a deep blue. So kind of a cover three um, type of deal with that middle linebacker, but cover two shell in the sense that both the safeties are playing those deep halves on either side of the field. So what you're going to see here, snap the ball, you see franchise already playmakering that def or that receiver running the curl route. So and Fitzmagic is expecting this playmaker over the middle of the field, so he's having to use her. Of that curl route that's the other thing that's tough is that these playmakers are really hard to stop with just like a, a computer defender 
So a lot of times they do have to be usered if you don't want to like consistently just give up uh, these little you know chunks of yardage to the playmaker over the middle to to the sideline wherever it may be. It's hard to get a beat on these with only computer defenders. So a lot of times you do have to user it, so it draws that user attention down. And what that does is it allows that Z spot post from the backside by Stephon Diggs, as you see. Actually, in this case, what happened was it's a cover two, right? But if we can go back to where, okay, so pre-snap here. So he's blocking seven. So since he's blocking seven and only three are going out on route, if you guys remember last year, what people were doing at a PA post was a popular play to do it out of. People would motion the running back over to the right. And you actually didn't even 100% have to do that. But basically, the principle is there's a cloud flat on the left side or a soft squat, whatever it may be. If he's defending like one receiver on that side of the field. So in this case, Stephon Diggs is the only receiving threat on the left side of the field. The only two other receiving threats are both on the right side. So because Stephon Diggs is the only receiving threat on the left side of the field, that cloud flat defender right here, or soft squat, whatever he may be, he's going to convert to match man-to-man -man coverage onto Stephon Diggs. So that's what you're going to see here. He's initially in a cloud flat or a soft squat, whatever it may be. But as you see right there, he notices, okay, Stephon Diggs is the only receiver on the side of the field that I have to worry about. So I'm going to go into man-to-man -man coverage. He's not going to be able to keep up with him in time. As you see, the clear out receiver, the A receiver running the streak down the middle, does exactly what he wants to do. Pulls not only the middle linebacker in that deep middle zone, but also the deep safety and the deep half on the right side. And that's going to let Stephon Diggs come in underneath, beating that uh, that flat zone defender that matched into man-to-man -man coverage he's not going to be able to keep up a because it's Stefan Diggs and b because of that route running how quickly he runs that route across the middle of the field allows an easy you know huge chunk of yards where he's at his own 25 he picks up about 37 close to 40 yards on that play right there and that's something that you saw Skimbo doing a lot last year out of z-spot that was a popular play that Skimbo would run he would run a simple concept very similar to this, where he would clear out on one side, Z-spot post will come all the way across, and it's tough to defend, especially against a guy with that route running ability where he's going to get across the field. It's tough to defend with man-to-man, -man, especially this year with no cross-manning now, along with the fact that there's no zone in the game that's going to be able to defend that. So basically, the, the best way to defend this is either get some type of pressure, you might have to user it, or obviously if you're using some team like the Seahawks or the Vikings, anybody with over 91 zone, I'm thinking like Earl Thomas, Harrison Smith, someone like that, you might be able to put them, you know, in this position. In this case, Fitzmagic is using the Eagles, so they don't have somebody like this, but you may be able to put them in this spot right here, and they may be able to cut off and break onto the ball as soon as basically it starts to be thrown because 91 and over zone, basically they become psychic. So those are some ways in off the top of my head that you might be able to slow it down, but still it's a very good concept this year, and it's something that kind of got forgotten about and went away with how the whole you know rip to z spot thing uh, but franchise definitely resurrecting it here uh, with this play out of the west coast playbook which has quickly risen probably to a top three playbook in the game between tweez running it uh with the single back spread you have some very unique formations obviously the gun bunch is very usable has some nice plays also has corner strike that i know of so the gun bunch definitely able to have a nice scheme out of that and obviously gun bunch is still on top of Madden 18 just like it was in Madden 17 so hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely comment let me know what you guys thought let me know what I can do better for future videos as always guys until next time take it easy